Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So last week I did a video about irritable bowel syndrome and I gave a bunch of tips and suggestions as to what someone can do with their diet to help reverse the symptoms that come with irritable bowel syndrome and certain experiments they can do with their diet, certain foods that they can try and avoid and see what happens. And someone had left a comment asking me what I thought of psyllium husk seed powder and I presume they're asking me that in relation to irritable bowel syndrome and in relation to chronic constipation or chronic con uh, diarrhea. Pretty much psyllium husk seed powder is used as a fiber supplement. It's not a laxative, but it is used as a fiber supplement. Psyllium husk seed powder comes from the psyllium plant, comes from the seed of the plant. The, the outer husk is ground down into a powder and people use it as a fiber supplement. Pretty much when you soak it in water, the powder, it becomes sort of like soft and jelly, like gelatinous in texture. And if you drink it with a bunch of water, it works to bulk up one's stools and also to coat the, the stools and the intestines to help move things along. And if someone has something like chronic diarrhea, it can help bulk things up that, that it counters the diarrhea. And for those that have chronic uh, constipation, it also just helps to coat sort of the waste that's going through you, bulk it up as well, and just soften things up that things can move better at a better transit through your digestive tract. Pretty much um, people use this to treat their irritable bowel syndrome. A lot of doctors, healthcare practitioners recommend to their patients to take psyllium husky powder daily to counter any kind of issue they have with irritable bowel syndrome and the chronic constipation or chronic diarrhea. People also take psyllium husky powder when they're doing a fast or a cleanse also to counter any issue of constipation and some people even use psyllium husky powder when they're baking. It, you can use that as a thickening agent. What do I think of psyllium husky powder? Well, <laughs> I find out of all the fiber supplements, I find that psyllium husky powder to be quite abrasive. I, I find that some people do fine on it. They do great on it. They, they think it's their miracle and that's great. And if, if you find that you've been using it for, for however long and it's really worked for you, fantastic. But there are some people that it doesn't work for. for there are some people that it causes a lot of gas, bloating, and irritation in the digestive tract and even yeast in the digestive tract. It's not everyone, but some people that does happen too. And so I can give some suggestions if that is happening to you and you're kind of like, what do I do? I wanna try using a fiber supplement, and but this is not working. One thing that I can recommend is if you're having a hard time using the psyllium husky powder, instead use either freshly ground flax seeds or use chia seeds. They work the same way. They pretty much, when you soak the chia seeds or the freshly ground flax seeds in water, they also become gelatinous in texture and bulk up the stool and help move things along. They too are a fiber supplement. They are not a laxative, so they're not stimulating the intestines. They're just helping to move the waste along. And so pretty much I find the flax seed powder or the chia seeds to be a little bit more gentler. So, for those that really have a sensitive digestive tract, I would say go more towards the chia seeds or the flax seeds. And pretty much with the flax seeds, you get the whole flax seeds and you would grind them down in a blender or a coffee mill or a spice mill and use them when they're, use it when it's freshly ground down into a powder. Don't grind a bunch of it and put it in a jar or in the fridge because it does go rancid quite quickly. So it's better to just, as you're using it, grind it down. And so you pretty much would take a tablespoon of that, put it in a glass of water, let it sit for a few minutes, and then drink it down. Same thing with the chia seeds. You don't need to grind, grind them down. You just take a tablespoon of the chia seeds, put them in some water, let them sit for maybe 10 or 20 minutes until they become gelatinous, and then drink it down. Whatever you do, whether you're using psyllium husk seed powder or using flax seed powder or the chia seeds, you always want to drink a lot of water with this stuff. So, it's always best to follow it with at least one or two glasses of water. If you don't have water after drinking this, you can actually get even more constipated. <laughs> so you want to avoid that. Um, so do make sure to drink a lot of water right after you take it and throughout the day. 
main thing is is that it is not a laxative it's a fiber supplement so it's not something that's going to work immediately it's something that actually has to kind of build up in your your body and in your system and it really depends on how fast your digestion is so most people would start seeing results of using it within two or three days, but it could be up to a week that you start feeling more regular. But the main thing is, is that if you are taking any of these fiber supplements, you have to take them regularly. You gotta take them almost daily for it to, to really see results. Your body will not become reliant on it to function. It's not like a laxative that a laxative can actually weaken your digestive system, whereas with adding a fiber supplement, you can actually almost strengthen your digestive system because it has to work a little bit more to, to break it down and allow it to move through your system. So you will not weaken your body or become reliant on a, a fiber supplement but it is something that you have to regularly take if you have any kind of issue and you want to have regular results. Um, what else can I say about psyllium husk seed powder? And I, one thing that I can say <laughs> and that I just want to warn people and just strongly recommend is to buy it if you're going to use psyllium husk seed powder or try it out. I strongly suggest buying it from a health food store where you're buying the pure powder and you're not going to the pharmacy or the chemist or the grocery store buying it. A lot of times when someone goes to see their doctor for irritable bowel syndrome or constipation, the doctor says, okay, go and take the psyllium husk seed powder, just go to, the, go to the, the pharmacy or the chemist and buy it there. And what they end up buying is a product that contains the psyllium husk seed powder, but on top of it, it contains like sweeteners and flavors and artificial colorings and all sorts of weird stuff in there, right? It's like a mix and it's a drink mix pretty much. And even though it's gonna work, you don't need to be taking the, the coloring and the sugar and the sweeteners and, and the flavoring with it. You just need to take the psyllium hussy powder pure, plain. You're only just drinking it down. It's not like a meal or something and, and you need it to taste so good. So my suggestion is to avoid things like Metamucil or other products that contain just all sorts of other ingredients. You don't need it, especially if you're taking it daily. And some people take this stuff like for years and decades on end, and you don't want to be taking in all these artificial ingredients with it. You just want the pure stuff. And plus, if you go to a health food store and buy the psyllium husky powder there, it'll be way cheaper as well. It's quite cheap, the stuff. So just take that into consideration as well. So that's pretty much it with the fiber supplements. I do want to say though that um, sometimes the view with irritable bowel syndrome is that a lot of people think that it's, it's a fiber issue and, and people need more fiber in the diet, but some people are very, very sensitive to fiber and sometimes having less fiber in the diet actually helps their irritable bowel syndrome. So, you know, not one thing fits everyone. And so this is something that I just recommend for anyone that's got irritable bowel syndrome is to try different things out, experiment with different things and listen to your body first because some people find that yes, once they do increase their fiber in their diet by having more fruits and vegetables and, and other high fiber foods, that it helps and even by taking a fiber supplement it helps even more but others find that it just irritates their system even more and by having a lower fiber diet actually improves the, their condition so always listen to your body first and experiment with different things all right so those are my tips and suggestions and um, I also just want to mention too that if someone does want to do the seven day raw food challenge it's starting today Monday <laughs> and it's not too late to sign up so you can sign up today and just go to my website at radiantcentral.com and also the next 10 day juice fasting program it starts next week it starts Wednesday June 4th so if you're interested in trying that both these programs are online programs they're a lot of fun I'm there to support everyone there's daily videos for the programs and guidelines and outline and and it's an online program so it's a group effort people do it from all over the world and if you want more information just go to my website at radiantcentral.com and click on products and you'll see the seven day raw food challenge and the 10 day juice fasting program there all right have a super fabulous day everyone and i'll see you again soon bye